Hey guys, this is Uncharted 2, Crushing Difficulty, Trank Gun Only, Chapter 25, Broken Paradise. Now this is absolute hell, as we are without the Trank Gun at the start of this, in this absolute mad chase. But this is the first, the last proper level in the game, because the uh, Chapter 26 is just a boss fight. Uh, this will be a two-parter, I can already tell, because it's a long one this, as we are finally at beautiful Shambhala, which is, it looks stunning, even on this HD collection. So we're actually going to have to give ourselves a track gun here. So uh, this all goes mad. Uh, I'm not going to take that weapon. Give myself the track gun. Oh my cry, I didn't realise I'd, I'd gone into them. Uh, let's just try and... Oh. There we go. Uh, I believe this will knock us out. One of the few times the game ever transitions to just a white screen. That's rare, that. We are going to be required to give ourselves the Trank Gun again. But uh, Shambhala mixes things up a bit because we're going to have some new enemies. As always, I'll try my very best to use the Trank Gun as much as possible. I think, for the most part, I should be alright. Pardon me again. I may have to uh, use grenades once or twice. Let's have a look here. So we're going to need the Trank Gun because we're going to have some new enemies here very shortly. Uh, why am I getting... Oh, okay. They should show up right now. Okay, here we go. These are blue guys. I'm sure they have a technical name. I think, is it Guardians? I think trophies refers to them as. Now they like to... They, one of the good things is they don't always like to shoot us. They use the crossbows, which are incredibly powerful, but... I can... Certainly easier to run. Oh, Christ. As you can see, I can run around with these guys. And there's some incredible music going on. Uh, as you can see, the Trank Gun is very effective. But uh, if I get caught with those crossbows, it's generally going to be game over. I'm surprised it's a one shot kill, even on this difficulty. But uh, okay, he's getting his Trank Gun out. Let's take cover. If we're getting close, there we go. Got these guys that have got grenades. I'm just picking up. Oh, did he blow himself up? No. I thought he did then. Okay. Let's try and jump up there if we can. Oh, he's moved. This is the thing. Obviously, I do not have the range. It's going to be a very interesting level, to say the least. Alright. Oh! <laughs> I had a very sick plan then. I was going to jump to him and like try and... Got him. My plan was to jump and shoot at him in mid-air. Um, it didn't quite go to plan, but we survived. Yeah, I think in the game, like you really need the crossbow with these guys. We don't really need it. There's a lot of weapons you can use, but they just soak up damage, so... Probably going to have those people saying it's easier with a Trank Gun than normal. Certainly not. <laughs> it just looks it now and then. Come on, you can make these jumps. So, let's pick up the grenades. Sure, we will need them. But yeah, this is a level I tested with the Trank Gun purely to see if I could actually do the game. But I can destroy all this resin stuff. So, we can actually progress through the level. The sap, that's it, yeah. Couldn't actually remember the name. But I do like this. Similar to the point I made in Devil May Cry 1, I like that the game switches uh, switches us to a new area for the very end of the game, because it really does help it keep, keep feel fresh in those final final hour or so. It's something I think games should definitely do, because it really stops that last hour from feeling played out. Like, you know, Uncharted 1 also got this by, by having the U-boat, and then obviously it ends with the ship at the very end, but the U-boat and the bunker and that, was okay. Um, oh, that's incredible range. Let's go. So we can get through there now. And the fact that we see some new enemies as well uh, also helps it really feel fresh. Now this is going to be an interesting combat section. This is quite an open section. This is this could have me stuck for a good while, but that's what everyone's here for. can actually employ a bit of stealth, so we will see what we can do. 
Right. I'm going to want to turn... Oh, Nate's gone in stealth mode. I think. Yeah, he has. So, enemies are here. We got company. Again? Shh. Told you. It's too damn quiet. Let's have a look here. Seen us yet. Right, we've got minigunners. Oh, these soldiers are crawling all over the place. Minigunners obviously are a big threat to us. Right. Should be able to take this guy out wherever he's gone. Or is he gonna be a dickhead about it? He is. Okay. His body's not in the way, which is good. Guy on the right there. What I ideally need to do is take out as many of these enemies as possible before moving on to the minigun guy. So. Oh wow, that was a complete fail. That wasn't embarrassing or anything. Uh, still alive, somehow. Okay. But, so let's roll with it. All about that human element to playthroughs. As you can see, I am not a robot, as we established on part one. <laughs> right. That guy. As we know, it takes three RPGs to kill him. But uh, we don't have an RPG this time, so... What we do have, though, is the resin, or the sap, whatever you want to call it. Oh my Christ. Yeah, we really do need to take out those other enemies and a bit more clean than what I just did then. I might... I'm going to employ strategies that I tried last time. On Brutal, which is I'm pretty certain it's a lot. Oh, wow. I did get away with that. Oh, no, I didn't. <laughs> it's about too soon. Probably going to die here, but let's, let's take cover. Yeah. Let's just try and be a bit patient. That was a bit silly. A bit silly. Let's have a look here. Okay, I quite liked this plan I had here. What on earth? Is that even cover game? Wow. I'm being very, very annoying here. There we go. Drop down. Drop again. We'll wait for this guy to come around. What's that? That's an M4 over there, isn't it? I was hoping for a... Uh... Oh! Did I get away with that? Of course not, do not work like that, does it? Oh, I did. The music's going, but... Them three don't know where I'm here. Okay. okay. Right. I'll switch cover. Anyone to our left? I can't see anyone, but my cover's not great. So, the plan this time is to actually hit this guy. Like that. Not very hard to do that, is it? Not sure why it gave me trouble. Got s one guy there on his own. I believe there'll be a guy in the middle as well. Yeah, he's there. See him? Blending in. Nice. Okay. We've got three enemies here that are sticking together. Now, what I'm looking at here is a potential grenade that will hit that uh, sap. I can't really get any closer because that minigun will tear us apart. So I'm going to try a grenade. This is where it's slightly awkward because the curve just doesn't... I can't see where this is going to land. Mind you, it's still better than what the game was in the chart 4. Right, let's see how effective that is. Okay, it wounded the guy. Not a lot, but... Damn, it spawns more in. Okay, they are just basic enemies, so... I shouldn't count myself too unlucky here. 
I'm going to use another grenade on this big guy, because when it comes to these big guys, all bets are off for me. Come on. One more. Oh, you're joking me. No game. Oh. Alright, I'm still breathing. Okay, I feel like I've chipped all his armor off, so I might be able to actually kill that big guy. Let's get into some cover, though. Hopefully he doesn't hit me. This is such a mad uh, section. Of oh, I thought I was a guy there. Oh, I've got snipers as well. Sugar. And he dies on the minigun, though, because he can give me a bad... Uh... Everyone else aren't, isn't too much of a worry. Like... Obviously they're a warrior on crushing, but I can I can take them out. A bit more comfortable. This big guy, however, he'll he'll tear me to shreds in about ten seconds. Uh, ten seconds, I mean 0.1 second. I'm hoping I've done enough damage now. That what I'm trying here is gonna work. Oh. Oh no. Damn it. Where's minigun? Oh god, where is it? I can't even go out that way. Oh. I'm very nervous here. Oh my god. Oh no, what is this? What's even going on? I don't even know. I, I don't know what's going on. I honestly don't. No! Nate, why did he get stuck on that cover? Oh man, I, I very nearly jammed my way through that. I should have just shot that big that guy with a shotgun. I could have stayed up there then. Oh, that's annoying. Okay. Thing is, right after this section, there's another hard bit. <laughs> that's just this mission in a nutshell. So, but uh, I'm confident I can do this. That wasn't going too badly. Not a big fan of that spawn though. That second spawn, especially when you can't even do it stealthy. Feels a bit strange. So, put him to sleep. There we go. Can be a bit quicker about this. So, that guy's gonna go that way. There's a lot of grenades about, isn't there? Worth remembering. So. Oh, what? Wow. Alright, let's try the same plan. Hit the sapphire. So. I'm going to need to sip. Oh, please, game, you dickheads. Come on. Oh, getting cover. That guy. Who has got an RPG? I do not remember an RPG last time. This could give me a rough time. One more grenade. Safety. Jump. Oh. Wow. It is, it is so manic. But I actually don't hate this section. I quite rate it, dare I say. Because it's it's a controlled chaos. It's not just the game throwing absolutely... It is the game throwing everything at the play, but it's done in a way with the level design, so it does work. A lot of games would just throw ridiculous odds at you. No real way of achieving victory. This game isn't guilty of that. Now, I have got Chloe and Elena who will... Put, who will sink a lot of damage... Right, there's, a, there's our minigun of friend. I don't need to worry too much about him just yet. Until he comes round again. Ah, I don't like him being there though, but thankfully... Jesus, wept. I just do not have a good view on anything here. I don't think the minigun will actually come through this way. Oh, somebody blew themselves up. Still alive. Got him. Right, I can breathe a little easier now. Damn it. 
I've got a shotgunner. Is he coming towards me or not? He is. Will he come in range? Come on. You know you want to. Once that shotgun guy is down, shotgun guy is down. I feel a lot more confident with this. Where is Mr. Shotgun Man? He's there. Ah, he's coming into view now. Oh, what? How's he not died from that? There we go. Died, I mean, put to sleep. Right. Let's. I need them two guys down, because they're going to just cause havoc from over there. Right, come on. Roll. Take cover. Christ. Oh no! Oh, what am I doing? I knew he was going to Oh wait, have I got a checkpoint? No, I haven't had that. Oh, for God's sake. Right, okay. I don't think I have anywhere. New plan. Oh, I'm not in that game. Right. This is actually not good at all, because I've just let more enemies be in the area at once. Okay. Whoop. Cover. It's not game over though. Oh, I tell you what, if that grenade wasn't quite there, I'd been, I got away with that. Alright, killed him with the grenade, which is a bit of a shame, but uh, whatever. Oh, who's, who's flanked me, dickhead? Nate, hit him. Nate, hit him. No, why is blocking not a thing? Dodging, sorry, dodging. Why? Why is it not a thing on crushing? It just makes a mechanic redundant. Ugh. No. Right. Let's wait for this guy to come around. This will probably be the longest uh, mission, actually, in recording. Right. That guy's down. Take cover here. Let's move. I can't be asked waiting around this time. Oh, he's got a desert eagle. Oh, all the guns I could use to make this so easy. But uh, I had to do this silly challenge. Because something doesn't work with my brain, obviously. Right. What's most awkward with the trank gun? I remember when that wasn't attracting attention every time. Those were the good old days. That one attempt I did it where... Four grenades to kill, so I will remember next time to only use three. So that I can, like, uh, actually do this without killing. I, I want to try and kill that guy with my trank, because I know I can do it, kind of thing. But I'm sort of panicking in the moment and just chucking grenades. Right, I need to move. The problem is, I can't really move to an adv advantageous position uh, in brackets, because. I could get flanked so easily on this section. It's kind of insane. Oh no, I'm dead. Oh. Now 
I've got a man. Oh, please, game. Literally, he's only fired as soon as I was moving then. Right. I can't really stop it because I am just open. See, it's not even like I can flank down there. Got no eyes on the shotgun guy. I noticed this whole triangle, but obviously you can't get out of this area early. It'd be great if you could. Can this work? I think you here? No. They have the advantage every time. What I need is I need enemies to get tempted to come this way, but they're not getting tempted. Oh, wow. I didn't I realize Elena had brought him here. There we go. See, that's like the main hard enemies dealt with, for the most part. But we face issues with uh, the sniper and the RPG. Which I wish we didn't, but we just do. Oh my god, if that had killed me, I'd have screamed. And I don't even think I'm joking about that. I would have screamed. Ah, uh, uh, okay, that guy's not interested in me. Where's he off? Might be interested now. He is now, yeah. I think, he's, I think there's him and a guy with an M4, to my knowledge. I believe that's all I've got to face here. He's right there. And there's a guy down there who's got a mini Uzi, I believe. And there's an M4 guy. Okay. Not as cut and dry as I thought it was. But the RPG has no right to be able to hit me here, so... Nate will probably do his scream a few times, but other than that, we're alright here. Don't really. Grenade! Perfect grenade throw. See, going through the centre would be perfect. I could get a real good flank on them, but I can't really move about with this RPG. I think I'm still safe here. Ah, why are they backing away from me? Come on, come close. Play that game, I, I'm kind of screwed. That's just very awkward. This. I have a plan, but my plan is to throw a grenade and hit the sap. But it, this is the problem. I can't. Oh, he was going to snipe me then. I can't really get close because the RPG just fires, and if I'm not in cover, it kills me. But if I'm in cover, it knocks me out of cover. It's ah. Uh, it's all a big nightmare. That's one down. That's a good shot. Right, purely because I can't actually do this, so I'm going to hit the. I'm going to use these. Oh wow. There we go, did that get him? It did. Whew. Right, now we're going to get blue, guys. Which, I believe, I have to check, I'm sorry. That should be a checkpoint. Yes. Right, I'm going to get my bloody revenge here. Come bring it. Oh, look, they are firing. Oh, you can't. Why am I doing that? I know better than that as well. There we go. I believe that's this area done. No. I mean, it doesn't really matter, but... Nate's running at full speed, though, which has me curious. But that should be this done, this section. It's 
so if I remember that, that won't work, so... You have a counterweight's missing. Well, you look about the right size. <laughs> Funny. So, poor old Nate gets a battering about his weight. Probably because of Donut Drake being a thing in Uncharted 1. Alright, I'm on it. Okay, here we go. So this section coming up is interesting because I'm not going to have the manoeuvrability, but it is close quarters, which should favour me. So we're going to come up right behind a bunch of enemies here, which is always good. This is just a big old mess. This Trangon's effective though. Ah, can't get too close. Ah, uh, this is where it's tricky. We got a good old... Right there, Matt. <laughs> we got a good old... Yeah, we got a good old grenade launcher. Who is going to make my life absolute hell. Oh, wow. I, I did not expect it to turn around this time. Think about it, I just saved his life because I stopped him from being blown up with a grenade launcher from his mate. Got him. <laughs> Didn't go to plan, but we're here. Right, grenade launcher needs to go. Obviously. Ah, oh, you dickhead. I had him. Why didn't I climb up? This shouldn't be too bad, actually. That, I mean, it's not exactly gone too rough there. That's it. It's like his mate's just trying to kill him, kill him innit? Right, I need Chloe. It's all on Chloe and Elena here to, like, chip his armor off. If they don't do that, I am. Oh, I got him. Stealth kill. <laughs> Surprisingly. That grenade's alright, we can survive that. That should hit, ah. Uh. Chloe and Elena can do enough damage to that big guy, I can do something here. Come on, more shots. Oh, what's that? I've never seen that move before. That was like glitchy, that. And they've seen so many glitches in a playthrough, I must be honest. I think this trank gun has exposed the glitchiness of this game at times. What? I've never known them take a body shot. Please. It's just that second guy with armour that's causing me the issues. Nice. Nah, it's moving away from it this time. There we go. What? No, you stealth kill game. It's a thing. Oh, I got away. Oh no, a grenade, you are kidding me. He doesn't seem that bothered. No one seems that bothered. They glitched out somewhere. Oh, okay. We've 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 woken everyone up. But we're still breathing here. Oh, that's an issue. Two of them. Wow. Oh. Uh, I don't know what's going on. All I don't know is, is my phone's going off, which is always great. And I'm surrounded. Uh. Oh wait, I don't need to t get get down, I'm in cover. Come on, hit. Did that work? Yes. Okay. I'll acknowledge I had to use a grenade there, but... Mm, I don't like this, there's just no cover whatsoever. Move to the left side. Right, come on, get there quick, mate. Coming up. 
Right, just for the armor. That didn't really destroy. Well, talk about being absolutely pummeled. <laughs> this is an absolute nightmare. They can't even like, aim over us. Oh my Christ. Let's, let's lure him back, yep. Good plan. Are they coming? They are. Got him. The other one. Grenade might got him. There we go. So, grenades have been necessary purely because of the armour. Should be able to take this guy out quite easy, though. Got him. That didn't go too bad, that. Okay. Not too bad. I'm going to call part one, uh, part one there, guys. I'll see you for part two.